Well, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, depending on where in the world you are when you're watching this. My name is Master Paul, and um, this live stream has just started. Today is June 22, 2016, and today's live stream is dedicated to the condition of mental pain and the different ways that mental pain impact us. And in, um, I guess Heaven wanted to give me a little testing on mental pain even before starting this show. It took about 13 minutes for it to effectively connect. Um, and I was going through a process of staying calm and uh, available so I could be effective to you uh, when it finally worked. I was actually just typing on my computer uh, my apologies for not being able to connect with you today and uh, then I heard the message try one more time because I'd already tried like 20 times and so fortunately this last time it did connect my hope is that the uh, connection will last for the full uh, time that we are on today so um, let us hope it seems to be a bit of an internet issue I'm not quite sure why but tis the nature of the technic of the technicalities of uh, working with the internet so i'm very grateful for all those that are joining me thank you for your patience and your attendance i see that margaret has joined welcome margaret great to see you <clears throat> and new normally it shows me the others it does show me that four people have tuned in but it has not indicated who those other four are at this point so i'm hoping you can hear me i'm going to um refresh mine it does look like I'm live I'll just make sure that I can hear myself here and uh, so th thank you so much Margaret for acknowledging it does look like it's a bit of a slow feed especially on my computer so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off I'm going to assume you can hear me if you can't please let me know welcome Nicole Thank you for joining and thank you for your uh, message earlier and uh, I'll check in with you afterwards. So today's show is going to be on <coughs> mental pain. And mental pain is very unique. When I was checking in with the divine and asking heaven for additional information because the first thing I do is I try to see what is in Master Shah's books. How has this wisdom been brought to us so that we can um, resolve it with soul power because truly that's what I'm here to teach and share and bless you with is the power of soul and mental pain has uh, some unique sources most of them are actually related to our emotions and yesterday was the subject of emotional pain but actually many times mental pain precedes the emotional pain and that was a curious message that I received from heaven. So welcome, Pat. Thank you for joining me. I'm hoping that you can all hear me as I've been unable to check on my computer system given the, uh, the speed of the internet signal today. As you can tell, that it's a bit spotty. So I apologize. I hope we'll be able to keep a full, uh, full hour show here. <coughs> Excuse me. I did my best to, uh, to clear my throat blockages earlier today, but not too much avail. It's my form of purification. It's my lungs. So let us talk a little bit more about mental pain. I'm going to start by inviting all the holy beings and connecting heart to heart, soul to soul to all of you. Maybe more people will join at that point and then we can move forward. They're all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask for you to please come to be with us here today. Come to sit in my jong, borrow my mouth, offer whatever teaching wisdoms, guidance, and insights are most important and relevant for all those that are joined today, all those that will watch this video moving forward into the future. I thank all of those who have come today and I ask that if you have aspects of mental pain 
to please make your comments and I will do soul readings later. We ask the Divine Dao to Source to please uh, assist in clearing my channels as appropriate so that when I offer this information, whatever you flow through my mouth, that it is uh, in alignment with your words that you use and that I offer the highest and best wisdom and teachings accordingly to Master Shah's wisdom and teachings. I ask for forgiveness to all those souls that watch this video, live or later, for this and all lifetimes of offering any information that has not been accurate or has not served you and your soul journey. I deeply, deeply and sincerely, sincerely apologize, and I will do better. We ask heaven, as appropriate, to bless all those that are on the line today, all those that watch this video in the future, to assist with them transforming any mental pain that they might be experiencing. <clears throat> we ask the source, soul song of love, peace and harmony transmitted to all souls to please turn on and to bless all those that join the line here today that we can all receive huge blessings to transform our lives. So welcome Eva, welcome Johnny, welcome Kristen, welcome Amy. And uh, I was late also, so no worries Kristen. Uh, it started at 13 after, I had some technical issues. I was actually just about ready to write everybody and say, sorry, let's try this again tomorrow. And then I heard uh, a message say, try it one more time after the first 15 tries. And uh, this time it worked. So let us pray that we have a strong uh, internet signal that I can achieve a success here today with sharing this wisdom with you guys. So at this time, if you do have any mental pain issues <coughs> for you or another, please ask that question. I will do divine flows on that. And I'm also now going to start with a divine flow from heaven. I will ask them what the source and significance is of mental pain. And in general, what is the uh, heaven's overall perception and how to resolve it. <coughs> so that should offer us some good insights. Hey, uh, hey, uh, dear heaven, dear divine, your Dao, your source, your master, Shah, could you please respond to this request? Offer whatever guidance, wisdom, and insights is most pertinent, relevant, applicable, uh, uh, that, and also whatever information that can assist us with transforming mental pain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the soul of the mental body. You have heard physical body, emotional body. I am a representative of all humanity's mental body. <clears throat> the mental body is a unique canister that acts much like an antenna. An antenna both receives and gives out information. Humanity, human beings, are walking electric antennas in many ways. They are programmed in many ways by the stimuli from televisions, from other sources, from people, programs, church, parents, and so forth. And this form of stimulus impacts their mental body. There are external mental body impacts, such as the collective thought. The collective thought of those in your classroom, those at your workplace, those in your society, those in your government, and those of the world, and so much more. You have heard, where one puts their mind is where the energy goes. The mental body is often not in control of the soul. The mental body is often controlled by the mind, by the desire for attention, drama, um, love. <clears throat> the mental body is impacted by physical world frequencies such as cell phones and some of the other unknown frequencies. The mental body is impacted by karma from actions 
from you or your ancestors that has impacted others in all lifetimes. These are the pertinent aspects of what the entirety of the mental body is. Mental pain is actually an aspect of the facets that impact the mental body in a form of suffering. The suffering shows up in the form of heartache, headache, body aches, and other forms of pain. Why does mental pain show up in these various ways? One of the reasons why is because the mental body is part and parcel of the four whole, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And the antenna nature of this body tends to reflect externally towards your spiritual body and internally towards your emotional and physical body. And in other words, when you get control over the input of information into your mental body, you have the opportunity to control the various ways in which it shows you pain. This information should be written down as little on the subject has been shared with humanity and yet a novel could be written on it much of humanity could be served by this knowledge and wisdom i will endeavor to share more with this one speaking on my behalf but suffice it to say at this time for this subject matter of the mental body that if you wish to resolve mental pain, mental body pain, then you must take a look at the originating source. Is it coming from the inside? Is it coming from the outside? What can you do to protect yourself from those things happening from the outside, for example? Many focus on meditation. Meditation is a panacea. It allows one to separate from the constancy of the beating of the drum of the mental body. When one practices the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah for internal and external soul power for the process of meditation, the focus being on the lower abdomen, focusing on, for example, a golden light ball. What this does in essence is it gives the antennae of the mental body a focus focal point and it allows heaven and earth frequencies the ones that are truly what you want your mental body to align to to further reach you without impedance from the other sources it is this consistency that will bring the greatest positive long-term result it is my encouragement to all souls to meditate more often using the practices of this master <clears throat> because it will assist you to realign to your original source in the highest and fastest way possible. And when you are in this kind of space, it is almost impossible to be thwarted by the nature of the mental body and its ability to control our thoughts, words, and actions. There is volumes that can be said on this subject. This is the most relevant information that I can share at this time. I am honored to be able to borrow this one's mouth to share this wisdom with you, and I believe it will serve you. My encouragement is to listen again and write this down, as there is great wisdom in what has been told you. Ha! How, how, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, that was an understatement. There is truly some great wisdom in there. I was in awe of the information that was coming through. I truly had no clue, no clue of any of that information. And so I will be listening to Mundi again <laughs> and writing this down. And then I'll do deeper and further flows on it because that will truly assist a lot. I see that the video is working hard just to keep a flow. You can probably hear my voice. 
but my guess is that it's pixelating on your end. I apologize. I wish to welcome uh, Eva, uh, Crystal, and Allison. So Eva says, Aloha Master Paul, thank you for your service. That's so timely. You are very welcome, Eva. I'm going to disconnect for just a second of my video here that I need to make. And I will be right back. Give me just a moment. Okay. So I don't see any questions coming up yet on the questions you might have around mental pain. Thank you for your patience in coming in a little bit late. I had technical difficulties, fortunately. <coughs> the light still on. It does call. I'll try to connect one more time. Uh, and after that, if it keeps cutting off, it'll just be, we'll have to call it a day. <coughs> uh, so Eva, um, you, I read that you have a question in my meth box. So I'm guessing that means you would like it to remain private. Um, you can, of course, post it right here if it's something that you're willing to hear the answer to publicly. So that, that part is up to you. I'm going to ask Kevin, what of the tools that are available that Master Shah has brought to Earth can assist us most with mental body uh, pain? To the soul of heaven, could you please respond to this request? Thank you. How? Mental body pain, as was discussed a moment ago, is the result of imbalance of too much mind power, too much focus. They're not serving your well-being. <coughs> this occurs, visually speaking, when a person's energies are upside down. Visualize, if you will, a pyramid where the point is at the bottom and the base is at the top. Upside down pyramid. This is how a good half or more of society operates. They are very mentally imbalanced. They're in their head all the time. They keep their head filled with anything, drama, gossip, pain, television, and anything that covers the pain, basically. If they only understood that by reversing the pyramidal structure, by building the foundation and the foundational energies, that they could assist their health and well-being dramatically, then virtually all of humanity would be in a far superior health, mentally, emotionally, and of course, physically. How do you do this? In the Soul, in the soul Healing Miracles book, the calligraphies will all serve for a specific condition of mental pain. But in terms of strengthening the pyramidal base, hey, hung, hong, ha, the <coughs> third calligraphy in the book would do a wonderful job of boosting your lower foundational energy power. Don tracing with every day will not only ground you, but allow you to have a far better meditation and boost the strength to your lower energy centers, which would keep you from vibrating out of balance emotionally, boost your finances, balance relationship blockages, energize your physical body, boost your immunity, stamina, and vitality, give you additional kidney strength, which would in turn increase the ability to handle the brain abilities that you have been 
putting too much emphasis on. It would create a valuable channel between your base energy centers and your heart center. This is not a small practice, and it is not a just another calligraphy. This calligraphy was built to boost power to the entire lower part of the body. And this is what would build your foundation to help release your emotional mental pain. You are blessed to have this information, and if you do not have this book, then you should acquire it as soon as possible, as the treasures in this book can transform anyone's life. This is heaven. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so thank you for that flow, Heaven. So I'm guessing that most of you on the line have that um, book, uh, Soul, Soul Mind, uh, not Soul Mind Body, um, Soul Healing Miracles, Master Shah's uh, first calligraphy book. And with that book comes some huge power in those calligraphies, and the Hei Hung Hong Ha being the third one, uh, I, I hope that you go to use that more. So let me go ahead and work with Kristen's question here. Kristen asks, I don't think I have a lot, but I do experience pain regarding my mother who is in a nursing home and I often do and I often do you feel mental pain about whether I am serving her and blessing her in the best possible way. <clears throat> she really doesn't want to be there, he says. So there's some, she says, so there's some guilt there, obviously. So let's take a look into that. Think of your mother. Think of your mother's, uh, mother and your mother's name. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. To the soul of Kristen, Kristen's mother, the relationship between them, this choice uh, for supporting Kristen's mother in this way, and the, um, the mental pain that Kristen might be referring to. Uh, regarding this subject matter. Any guidance with them and insights? Could you please be uh, present at this time and assist Kristen as appropriate? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. This is Kristen's soul. My dear Kristen, you are such a good being. You do virtually everything you can to ensure others' happiness. It does not matter who or what the soul is. You are always conscientious. You cannot control your mother's temperament, her karma, her actions and non-actions. I tell you this so that you do not second guess the choice made. Yes, she will complain. At the same time, there is a balance which there was not. This is hard. It is recognized that you have suffered with this choice, this guilt, etc. And this will not be the case when your mother crosses over. There will be the highest unfettered, unconditional love that her soul is currently sending towards you. The physical body is simply going through the end of life processes. <coughs> so continue to be compassionate, both to her and to yourself for your choice. And make sure that you only have time to see your mother, spend that time with her as she truly appreciates it. You can sing love, peace, and harmony to her and with her. No need to explain what or why. The healing 
from the frequency will do so much for her and her conditions. I love you and I am grateful for your service to our journey. This is your soul. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that assists you, Kristen. Thank you for the opportunity to answer that. <coughs> Nicole says, question, how do you free yourself from the mental stress from a person like your parent? down. It seems like a lifetime of mental pain and hurt. I know that Facebook's I see it's waffling. <coughs> You're the soul of Nicole. Nicole's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, the soul of this particular question. Uh, around parents that are judging and putting down their child. Um, any of the deeper wisdom and insights around that? the highest and best way to be with it or not with it, the highest and best way to resolve it. And uh, a general answer for, for all of those that are listening so that everyone can benefit from this answer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, <coughs> hey, 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 hey. So Kristen, you're, you're, the soul of your parents came, and, and I don't really want them to talk right now. So, I'll chat later. Um, Nicole, sorry, the soul of your parents came. And so we, we'll chat later on that. <coughs> I will, because um, they don't really want to leave, they just want to talk. So I have to give them that, that space, but I don't really want to do that on this venue. So we connect again. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, you. How? This is a message from the divine. <clears throat> I love children. All of you are my children. Your parents are my children. You and your children are my children. I have no judgment for any of my children as they are part of me. To judge any of me would be a conditional God <coughs> that I am not. Through the course of you call time, information has been passed down from child to child to child. And the information has not always been the highest and best way to communicate love. In most cases, when a parent puts down their, their child, it has to do with the parents lack of self love lack of gratitude and appreciation for the present life conditions that they have they are completely unaware of this <coughs> as they have been this way a long time they do not recognize that by putting them their child they are subconsciously trying to make themselves feel a little bit better from their conditions and their lack of worthiness. It is not an easy answer for anyone who has parents of this nature, as the parent must be able to hear these truths, and the possibility of that is little. What I can say about <clears throat> this mental pain is that you can take care of yourself by giving compassion to yourself first about how you may have been this way to others in this and other lifetimes. And if 
you had <coughs> communicated with others in this way. <coughs> if you had communicated with others in this way in other lifetimes, by putting them down, then go through a deep, deep, authentic, and forgiveness practice. The forgiveness practice that is deep and authentic looks like putting yourself in their shoes. You already know how very unpleasant it feels to be put down. So reverse the role and envision that you may have been the one putting down and how the others felt so belittled, so diminished. And in reversing the roles, you can, from a very authentic place, ask for forgiveness because you are clear on how it feels already. And you can say, I am so sorry if I have ever brought this form of suffering to you, my beloved mother and father. And I'm so sorry that your parents taught this to you, and I ask you to please forgive your parents. In this way, you are releasing the chain that has run through the lineage. You are teaching the ancestral tree how to connect heart to heart, how to apologize. You invite their souls to do this forgiveness practice with you. You forgive yourself for receiving this false information and the need for their validation, which is why it hurts so much. So forgive yourself for the need for their love and validation. Know that they love you, but they don't know how to show it correctly. Offer compassion, but start with forgiveness for any lifetime you might have offered these false teachings to them. Then it is much easier to offer them forgiveness. In this reproducible process, you will lighten your load, be more compassionate for their very unpleasant way of communicating. You can offer them blessings through the books and methodologies available that can transform their heart-related blockages, and your ancestral tree will be bowing down to you for lifetimes for this opportunity to transform this most severe blockage. This applies to all those who have come, and my encouragement is that you utilize this wisdom. This is a message from the Divine. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, Divine, for that message. Hopefully that serves you well, Nicole. <coughs> and you are welcome, Pat. I'm happy to offer that information. Crystal says, thank you, Master Paul in heaven, for such great insights. Yes. Esther, welcome. Thank you for joining. Kat, welcome. Welcome again, Johnny. And Johnny has a question. Difficulty accepting change, which leads to mental confusion and anxiety of the outcome. Okay. <clears throat> to the soul of Johnny, Johnny's question about difficulty accepting change, um, which of course would lead to anxiety, confusion of the outcome. You please be present. Offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights for Johnny and all those that are listening. What is about to be shared? is one of the most difficult answers to hear because the core of the answer lies in a high level of understanding of what is termed the ego. Many see the ego as someone who is pompous, expressive, outstanding in their ideologies, etc. Truly, this is a 1% explanation of the ego. What the ego actually is, is 
the way a person brings the entirety of their self to any particular moment. The entirety of their self is a combination of all thoughts, all perceptions, all mindsets and beliefs, all knowingnesses without movement, very stoic in this knowingness, a hope, belief, and perception that things will go a certain way. It is a combination of all of these and the inability to operate in the perfection that the universe has provided for your learning experience. The perfection that the universe has provided is built upon living in each moment with the greatest clarity and trust. Virtually no soul has reached this currently. The ability to operate in this way means that you are free of ego, that you are literally like a feather floating on the wind with intention and trust. The intention is the driving force that moves the wind to move the feather where it desires to go. The trust is whatever path it takes is how it will reach its destination and that path is perfectly in alignment with the divine because with the intention was the release of the trust. It is this lack of trust and this lack of release after the intention is set that creates the set of conditions that creates the frustration, the anger, the anxiety, the reaction, and all other aspects that come from this separation as aforementioned. When one makes every moment in life move towards what was just explained, the possibility of being pain-free in every aspect of life is exceedingly high. It is not being said that it is easy, but this is what the difference is between the ego, how it brings itself to each moment in life, and the ideal of why you are here. How do you transform the pain in that moment? By stopping, recognizing that it did not happen the way you intended. Be the feather that goes with the wind and work with the place you are at with a smile of awareness of what you were just taught. And then after you have moved through that moment, bring this new awareness to each new moment as much as you possibly can. This is the Divine answering this question for all of you. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine. Truly some wonderful insights. I, I have to find someone that's willing to type all this stuff out. I wish I had the time. I mean, I could put all this in a, in a commentary and put it on the web and get all kinds of good feedback. That's great stuff. So thank you, Johnny, for that wonderful and poignant question. And uh, thank you, Divine, for that incredible answer. Truly good stuff. Thank you, John, for joining. Kristen says, thank you. I actually missed most of what you said because of the feed at the time. Will this be re re rectified in the recording? I don't know. It's frustrating. Today has been a frustrating internet day. I apologize. Um, I'm surprised actually the feed has, has stayed this long. Um, the gist of what was said, Kristen, was your soul said that you are in a good position to, uh, to not feel guilty about any of your choices, that your mother has her own soul journey and set of conditions, and that you have made the best choice for balance for both of you and to spend as much time with you as you can 
and to chant love peace and harmony to her often no explanations needed just do that that's the the shortened version of what heaven said thank you <coughs> welcome Adrian welcome Tatiana welcome Tina and so let's go back here uh, Pat says would really like balance of my mental body I agree I would like more balance in mine too Pat I'm guessing you're asking how to accomplish that let me see if, if that has already been answered yeah so far for the most part that has been answered <coughs> Let's see if there's any other questions here. Uh, Tatiana says she would like to worry less. Okay. This is the soul of Tatiana. Tatiana's uh, condition of worrying more than is really necessary in her own words. And uh, the highest and best wisdom, guidance, and information for all those on listening online and for Tatiana. Anything specific for Tatiana that could assist her. Could you please be present to offer this information? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh, yo, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, you. Yeah, hey, uh, you. For our dear beloved Tatiana, you keep us on our toes, dear one. You have such an active way of bringing yourself to life you are like a spark plug and this nature is truly wonderful and we appreciate it so much we tell you that it is the nature of your energy and frequency that also brings about your worry <clears throat> your nature is relatively mental and as mentioned before in the information about the mental body you can control quite a bit by meditation for you specifically dear we sincerely recommend you force yourself to do this we know that you maybe do it a bit but you, we also know that your mind stays busy during this we encourage you to play a uh, master shah music of your choice maybe Da Bei Zhou or the Dao songs Immortal Dao 1 or 2 these have a very high frequency and will allow you to focus in your core Zhong much better and you need to spend about 30 minutes a day there if you can work up to that would be wonderful one of the keys for you is to have an intention with your mind we recommend a golden healing ball that you consciously move rotate switch directions with that you even move to different energy centers in your body if that's what you need to do so that you are able to focus your attention when you give your mind something to do and it is not busy worrying or any of the other aspects of what you're doing heaven and earth and all of the treasures you have received can more easily connect with you as you are able to maintain this then stabilize the golden ball in the one area and simply gather the light focus on bringing in the light from every direction do this at some point you will find yourself losing attention and being gone it is in those two or three seconds or minutes that you have the greatest results. Time is irrelevant in space, but for the human, those two or three seconds of nothingness, miracles can happen, pain can be released, life can be altered, and so much more. And it is the consistency of this practice and the opportunity to find those spaces of nothingness more often that will assist you and all those listening to transform mind and emotional suffering. This is Tatiana's soul with the honor to serve all those listening today. 
How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tatiana's soul. So Esther says, uh, mental pain regarding my childhood, my parents, my siblings, and not good relationships with my older sister and father. Okay. And this is going to be the, the last one um, because I'm, I'm concerned about the, the Facebook uh, dying uh, f uh, from its power. <clears throat> and so um, I appreciate you all coming today. I don't want to push Facebook beyond its limits with my, with my stream here. <clears throat> and I will offer everybody online a blessing, so please remain. And if Facebook cuts off, remain. I will still offer the blessing. So Esther, uh, mental pain regarding her childhood, my parents, my siblings, not good relationships, and my older sister and father. Esther, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> okay. To the soul of Esther, Esther's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all of these uh, conditions listed by Esther. And what is the highest, uh, most relevant, important information for Esther to hear at this time regarding all these? Please be present. Dear the soul of Esther's ancestors, please be present. Um, dear Yemwanye, as appropriate, could you please open Esther's Akashic Records and assist us with this answer for our beloved Esther? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 I tell you that you have not always been the good soul, the good heart that you are now. There have been quite a few lifetimes of pompousness, self-righteousness, overbearing parentalness some physical abuse to the children what would be not considered okay today such as hard slaps to the face belts to the bare butt etc and more You, my dear, are not those souls now. <clears throat> you are not those experiences now. You obviously have learned much because you are a beautiful, more well-rounded being now. You chose in this lifetime to clear a great deal of these forms of karmic debt. You have not done a great job necessarily in clearing them yet, but you have moved to the point of awareness and recognition of the need to transform them. In your case, each one of those that have impacted your life have created a pattern, a pattern by which there is, for example, this is just an example, abuse that runs through each of them. Maybe it's a mental abuse or an emotional abuse. There could be patterns of abandonment that runs through each of them. There could be a pattern of disrespect that runs through each of them. It is important for you to work with a, a soul, an individual that is talented enough to identify those patterns and then process through them using the techniques and wisdoms of Dr. and Master Shah. When you are able to do this, you literally unravel lifetimes of suffering, past, present, and future. Your current relationships could transform dramatically in less than a year. 
by this actualization. It would be a value for you to learn more on this as it would assist you greatly to transform this lifetime of suffering and any future lifetimes that would likely come unless it is resolved in this lifetime. I finish by telling you you are a beautiful soul, that you have learned much, but now you're in a position <coughs> to learn a lot more and transform it on a permanent basis. This is your soul. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you to Esther's soul for that sharing. Okay, and Nicole responds, thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Paul. She's feeling very blessed. Yvonne says she was so sleepy she can't tell her anymore and has to lie down. <laughs> okay, good night, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. And Kristen says, okay, love it, thank you. Eva responds, aloha, Master Paul. I'd love to have a, as appropriate possible guidance about her son, Nick. There's lots of mental pain at the moment related to his mental state at the moment. Okay, I was going to, to finish, uh, but I'll go ahead and offer you this, this reading, Eva. <coughs> yeah, Eva, you need to check with me um, offline. There's some information you need to be aware of, okay? Okay. Um, so let me offer everybody online a blessing. Thank you for coming. Prepare yourself to receive. Make one request for yourself for an area of um, mental pain that you would like some blessings for, as appropriate. Ten more seconds. Blessing begin. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my treasures. Please return. You're all extremely, extremely blessed. <coughs> thank you so much for coming here today. <coughs> Tomorrow, I will be speaking about the spiritual body and spiritual body pain. 
and this will be the uh, wrap up for uh, this week I don't believe I'm going to be live on Friday uh, but we'll find out on Thursday when I check in again um, so please join me tomorrow same time same place tell your friends about it please share this after you're done and if you are new to this and are not familiar upon completion I believe a little follow button pops up above this video when you click on that you're told when I am live so I truly appreciate the opportunity to serve all of you and um, Esther I, I do have a, a, a blessing to do after this but do check with check in with me later on we, we need to talk a little bit more um, and then also Eva uh, same thing for you okay love you all we'll see you soon bye bye